Okay. Here I have my boiling water. Well, actually, it's just simmering. I don't want to boil it. And I have my heat pad, which I have on an elevated service surface, and I have like a little trivet here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cochineal bugs, I have one ounce of cochineal bugs, into my water. i push this forward so you can kind of see what it looks like. So this is what my bugs look like. And they're covered in water. And the color is already starting to release from the bugs. So what I'm doing is a multiple dye extract method. I'm going to leave these to soak overnight in this pan. And then tomorrow I'm going to strain these bugs into a strainer and strain the liqueur into a jar. And then once I have the bugs out, I'm going to put the bugs back into this pan, cover with water, heat up, bring to a simmer, let it simmer for five minutes, and again let it set overnight. I will do this upwards of 10 to 30 times depending on the carminic acid level of the bugs. Carminic acid is what the dye color is actually derived from out of the cochineal bug. And that can range anywhere from 11 to 31 percent given whether or not these are farm raised and also whether or not it's an El Nino year. So that's just a little caveat there on the side. Anyhow, I'm going to let this sit overnight and then you can see video number two which is the second extraction and then once we do our third extraction I'm going to go ahead and take my multiple extractions, my three extractions, combine them together and we are going to dye some cotton, some silk, and some wool fabrics.